Happy Monday, October 26th. This is for the cultura. Sebastián Yatra and Tim Cook chop it up and discuss everything from DACA to self-love. Osuna and Becky G don't have time for the drama. But first, a fan discovered the fastest way to make Bad Bunny smile. Want to get Bad Bunny's attention? Well, take notes from this fan because she found the perfect way to do so. Benito was out and about walking the street to Mariachi Plaza in LA. In a video posted by the fan on her IG, she definitely risked it all. And judging by the smile on his face, it seems like he liked the gesture. Our guess is that El Conejo could be shooting a video. After all, in the song Corazón, at the end of Yo Hago Lo Que Me Da La Gana, he did promise to drop an album before the end of the year. Hey. Y en nueve meses vuelvo y saco otro Pa' retirarme tranquilo como Miguel Cotto Osuna and Becky G are not about that drama, but they are about the hits. The singers are dropping their first collab titled No Drama on the 29th, which they teased on IG on Saturday, but you can pre-save it now. Becky took her promo a step further and gave fans her phone number saying, text me, but no drama allowed. She's not the only celebrity to give out her digits. Back in April, Maluma also gave his fans his number to chat, proving that 2020 hasn't been all bad. Now let's keep this No Drama energy all 2021. Sebastián Yatra is not holding back in a People in Español exclusive. The pop star interviewed Apple president Tim Cook, discussing topics like the status of dreamers, which Tim proudly employs, Yatra's first-hand account with the struggles of immigrant friends and family, and Sebas had this to say about bullying. The best way to stop bullying is looking at yourself in the mirror and love yourself, because a lot of times auto-bullying is the one that hurts us the most. Some more light-hearted topics include the impossible task of working out without music, who can relate, and how Sebastián recorded about, quote, 120 million voice notes when putting his touch on his latest single, Chica Ideal. Lila Pons is opening up about her $70,000 obsession. The 24-year-old paid a visit to the Estefan's Red Table Talk to discuss mental health, explaining the extreme lengths she's gone to keep her relationships happy. Like what she did with ex-boyfriend Juan Pasurita. I gave him this $70,000 party with all his friends for his 22nd birthday, and I'll do everything. I'll buy you a house. I've done that before. <laughs> Lele and Juanpa broke up back in 2018, and she details her current struggle with Tourette's syndrome and OCD, and how her condition led her to make impulsive decisions as a girlfriend. 70 G's is a lot of money to drop on a party. Whoever she ends up with is gonna be a lucky fella. Lili Estefan, on the other hand, shared her experience with her mother who suffered from depression, eventually committing suicide when she was only 10 years old. Does Camila Cabello have six toes? Over the weekend, the singer lost her quote, hair virginity, and debuted a brand new look, but it's not her locks we're focused on. When you zoom in on the photo she posted over the weekend with her man Sean Mendez, you notice a little something. It seems as if she has an extra toe on one of her feet, and we weren't the only ones to notice though. Fans went wild in the comments, saying things like, why does she low-key have six toes, and soy yo, o Camila tiene seis dedos en el pie. Whether it's a camera trick or she really does have an extra asset, I don't think Sean Mendez really cares. It's been 18 years since we saw Salma Hayek bring iconic Mexican painter Frida Kahlo back to life. Hey, listen, if you think I'm going to sleep with you just because you've taken me under your wing, you're wrong. The 2002 biopic, which was nominated for an Academy Award, is centered around the bold and controversial life of Frida Kahlo, a woman whose self-portraits and paintings based on nature and artifacts inspired Mexican pop culture. The movie was based on Hayden Herrera's 1983 biography of the same name, and it helped expose the suffering Kahlo experienced in her life, like her infertility struggles and her troubled marriage with artist Diego Rivera. It explored Frida's forward thinking, artistic, political, and sexual attitudes, and helped show how it reflected through her paintings. The film received six nominations at the 75th Academy Awards, landing two for Best Makeup and Best Original Score. Salma might not have won the Oscar for Best Actress, but the role skyrocketed her career. To no surprise, because Salma was a spitting image of the artist herself. Tomorrow, we're taking Mariah Angelique to a haunted house. <laughs> you don't want to miss it. Adios.